So next is Gurudev's sharing on uh, uh, during morning talk, 13th April 2013. Gurudev is saying, Radicals land ownership is actually not as big as the one of Nanda Baba. Nanda Baba's land is very, very big. But still, Radhika's land is bigger in one very important way. Radhika's land is a land full of love. Everyone and everything there loves Krishna to the utmost. Radhika. Radhe. Radhe. And, and, uh, can you, is it possible that you bring the mic a little bit closer so it's mic not is, very mic is, loud? The mic is in front of my mouth. Okay. Gurudev is asking a little bit louder, but uh, okay. we cannot. Okay, it's, it's make this, is, this is the mic is in front of me. See? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Rather out there. Okay, I will read last sentence. Everyone and everything there loves Krishna to the utmost. Radhika, her friends. The animals, the plants. Radhika's kingdom is a kingdom full of love. So, Radhika's kingdom is actually the biggest, bigger even than Krishna's. This we can read. In Ragunath Das Goswami's Stavavali prayers. <clears throat> so very beautiful <laughs> Guru David saying. One day I I heard from Naren Maharaj one story. Uh, maybe rather challenging, maybe he, he, you, you know. Um, one day, actually, Yashoda Maya uh, loves Radhika very much. Because if Radhika is came to Nanda Baba, Yashoda Maya and Nanda Baba is so pleased. And one day, some or other, uh, some, I don't know, maybe rumor, something happening. And uh, so one day, Yashoda Maya is too much ecstasy. She put a uh, yellow turmeric on the radical's hand. And putting turmeric means something kind of you know, like kind of a promise of marriage. So Yashoda Maya was thinking, oh, if Radhika could, my, my Gopal's wife, it would be very, very nice. And one day, uh, Burishaban Maharaj, I don't know how it happened. One day, Burisha Maharaj sent so much, uh, what do you say, 
I would say in, in English, if someone who is promised a kind of marriage, some parents send some, some big, you know, amount of some jewel something. So at that time, Brisha Maharaj sent so much drawing, do, uh, drawing? So much huge, uh, jewels. Like a mount of jewels. And then Nanda Baba is completely surprised. Because Nanda Baba does not have that kind of jewel. Because Radhika's, uh, original <coughs> goddess fortune. So Radhika's land, Radhika's opulence, actually Burishaman Maharaj opulence is so much. And then, Nanda Maharaj want to give something back to Bhrishnabhanu Maharaj. But uh, he does not have enough things to, to get back. So Nanda Maharaj so much worry. And then Krishna came. A father, what they doing? And then Nanda Maharaj did not say anything. And, uh, Krishna was find out some jewel and uh, he, he want to send some jewel back to Burishaman Maharaj, but uh, they don't have it. And Krishna was saying, can I have some jewel? And then Nanda Baba give to Krishna some jewel, show some jewel. Then, uh, Krishna was took this jewel and uh, put on the soil. And then start watering and milking. And then Nanda Baba said, Hey Gopal, what are you doing? This jewel does not come from land. What are you doing? But uh, Krishna said, No, jewel is coming this land. And then, by the mercy of Krishna, this, this from jewel becomes some sprouts coming and then some kind of trees coming. And then so much jewel is coming. And then Nandaba take, took advantage and he took all the jewels and sent back to Vrishabhan Maharaj. But of course, Yoga Mawad, Yoga Maya is thinking, oh, this is not a good sign because in Braja, it's no Swakia Baba, only Parakia. And then, Paul was saying, oh, actually, it's not good, it's very not, it's not auspicious to marriage Gopal and, and, uh, Nandini. You, you cannot do this. And then this story was kind of broken. So anyway, so Radhika's land, Burishaman Maharaj land is actually much, much bigger than Krishna. Because Radhika has, Radhika is Shuri. So much opulence. And uh, everybody likes love. Some people does not like God. 50% people of the world, they don't like God. But love, everybody <laughs> likes. So, this Gurudev's saying is very, very appropriate. So, we, our aim is love. If we know God, Supreme Person God, then, Guru Dev is saying, forget Krishna is Supreme Personal with Godhead. Krishna is our dear most. But actually, our dear most, our Ishta Devi is Shirimati Radharani. And Krishna is Radhika's Krishna, not our Krishna. So Radha Charanji, could you, could you say something about this? Radhika's glory. 
Hmm. About this story, uh, how Shmetradika came from Varshana. It's before Yawad. She came from Varshana to Nanda's palace. And Mother showed her Shmetradika. And she found this is the best girl in all Raja. It's, she's the best for my son. I love my son so much. I want for him the best girl. And um, she gave to her present some clothes, nice clothes. And she used turmeric and put on Shimati Radika's palm. And <laughs> And put here. It's, 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 so because she's like she's like her daughter, she's put here, and then she tried to how to say uh, put her hair broke away because some locks of hair coming, and in this way, some turmeric come to here. After this, she met Radhika, then she is returning to her home. She was so shy. She trying to feel uh, the She trying to wash her hands because she wants to. She actually so much. Uh, how to say gratefulness to Shimati Yashoda. So much she chose her for her Krishna, and also she wants to keep it in secret, and she washed her uh, hands in this pound and because it was Shemati Yashoda's love for Krishna, it's endless and so much is yellow color come, what is why it's Pilipa color and she also did like this washed here because she remember she did like this. she washed away to me from here but she forget about this. She doesn't know about this. So Turmeric will be here. In this moment, her girlfriends came, Lalita, Vishaka, Chitra, and others. And Lalita was so intelligent. What are you doing? My girlfriend, rather, what are you doing here? But she doesn't want to say anything. But Lalita saw here with Turmeric, she understood. <laughs> <laughs> and she's uh, with South, uh, with, she understood what is why she's asking, not just asking, she has an idea. What do you do? <laughs> but Shimat Radhika was a little bit aggressive to Lalita because she wants to protect his, uh, his secret. She's protecting uh, her Krishna from jokes. She doesn't want what Lalita and Arms will joke with her, with him. She's trying trying to run away from them. But then she, anyway, she returned because she loved so much her Lalita Vishaka. She couldn't without them. <laughs> First she trying to run, but then she stopped and understood. I couldn't be without them and returned. In this Pili Pakor, so much feelings, with feelings. What's happening where in the uh, house of uh, Nanda and Yashoda in Naples? Her love for Krishna, her gratefulness and sneha, softness. So much where these things. Thank you very much. So today, we are dealing with this temple of love. Gurudev saying, my grandfather called his temple, temple of love. So, actually, this Mungen Raj Mandel <coughs> is established by Sadhu Maharaj's grandfather, Raja Rishi, uh, Raghunanda Prasada Singh. <clears throat> so today is, uh, I think, uh, disappearance day of 
Gurudev's grandfather, is it right, Gurudev? Yes, sir, Devad. Yes, sir. Two days before Junaniya. Acha. So, if Gurudev, you could share some kind of story of your great, you know, you, your grandfather, great devotee. By the mercy of your grandfather, we can, we can learn this love and this temple of love. So if you could share us <coughs> your grandfather. Love is in Munger. Hmm? Munger is the temple, that temple of Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yeah. One temple in Munger of Mahaprabhu temple. That name is Ch Temple of Love. I see. Uh -huh. And uh, he makes three temples in Munger. Mm -hmm. One is the Jagatna temple, one is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu temple with uh, Radha, Govinda, and uh, Sita Ram, Lakshman. In the one temple, there are the, because in Bihar, they are Ram Bhakta. Mm -hmm. So one side is the Rama temple, right side, and left side is the Radha Govinda temple. So then they can feel it. There is no difference between Rama and Radha Govinda. Mm -hmm. One was Jagannath temple is in the Ganga, near Ganga river. In the Ghat, Kastani Ghat, there is the Uttar Vahani Ganga there. And the one temple, a big temple near to the palace, that was also Radha Brajmohan temple. They have a big, big area, like our Mugir Mandir. Mm. area which was so big temple and one is in the Jamdaha so four and two in Vrindavan one we have and one in the front of this temple so we have six temples mm -hmm. <clears throat> I see So, when he was a young child, he was devotee of Krishna from childhood. And he is only one to serve. Um, uh, only want to serve Krishna, Radha, and Krishna. This is his only desire for his life. When he married, he said first night to his wife, of same day of marriage. My wish that you only do bhajan with me to his wife. He say yes. The wife say yes, I will do. So this is my desire. If you will fill, I will be very happy. <coughs> and they are four nights sitting one corner, grandfather and grandmother and only chanting whole night. And morning, when come, they go to the bed, grandfather and grandmother sleep in floor. This process was going on 
no child is coming then his father become very worried how is he the bhagat ji and no children coming how who will manage the state so he put some spy to find out what is the problem the spy make hole in the door so they are watching every day they are sitting and doing their whole night so he he said to his father like this is happening then he called his father kya baat hai bolo call his father ko raat ka sa gaya ki ki kon बोलो उसको हम क्या सोच सकते हैं हमको नहीं मालूम पुजारी को कौन है सो ही फादर कॉल हिज सन एंड से वॉट इज है you are bhagat ji and i need the child in 2 years if not then i will marry the other woman then he said to the mother my grandmother and they are worried that they don't want to marry again for the child and this then they pray to krishna if you want then i don't know then they got the son after two three years that way they are so fixed in bhajan many past time happened you can imagine how they are loving to all temple a beautiful temple they make and fully they was trying to serve every place that we cannot do so much like their love alone from one pocket he is doing all the seva and all everything for the service of the distress the whole time he is only working 2 hours whole time he is chanting i see from my eyes and life was so simple life leading when he came in bhadavan every day he goes to madukari one time brajwasi ho and never you sleep or in the tent out very simple life and totally surrender to bhadavan and radha mo bas many past time has happened why he came to radha mohan when the monga everybody was in <coughs> ganesh shiva version from childhood the guru is telling about mahaprabhu and radha gobinda <coughs> so he was totally fixed in the childhood with radha gobinda his brain parents were not devotee they are rama bhakta they was not shiva from his time all the gaudiya mahaprabhu and the radha krishna bhajan mm. three generations we are 
Thank you very much, Guru Dev. I, <coughs> I heard from your mouth, uh, I don't know, maybe 2014, around 14. I completely shocked because in, uh, I think, uh, we are now leading uh, a Bengali Vaishnava, a Dr. Kapoz. And Dr. Kapoz was saying, I forgot the name, one guru, one guru dev asked his disciple, we, we, we are going to have a feast for dog. And the guru dev said to the disciple, you go to see the dog in Navadvip. And please invite this feast. And then disciple completely shocked. Guru Dev saying to invite dog for feast. How is it possible? And then I, then, then disciple asking Guru Dev, so how, how can we invite dogs? Because uh, we don't know how to, how to talk with dogs. And then Gurudev saying, no, just like ordinary human being, you get, you, you know, you pay obeisance, such and such day, we have feast, our Gurudev is called, we, our Gurudev is arranging for you, please come and please give us mercy. Just tell like this. And then at that time, surprisingly, all the dog in Navadvip came to attend this feast. So I have, I have read this, this pastime, but at that time, Gurudev was saying, in this feast, Gurudev and Gurudev mother was present. And the grandfather, grandmother saw this incident. Very, very amazing. Dog came, like a, like Vaishnava sitting politely and eating politely. Like behave like human beings. Is it right, Gurudev? I was not there, but I listened from my grandmother. Wow. It was Bada Baba. Oh, Barha Baba? Barha Baba. Acha. Mm. Story So <laughs> this is I was completely shocked because I was thinking this is the, the kind of story of kind of history, historical incident. But Guru Dev's grandfather and grandmother was there. I was completely kind of uh, this kind of incident is very related, very kind of very close and intimately. Uh, such a Vaishnava of Guru Dev's grandfather and grandmother. And uh, another thing is, is, my surprising was Guru Dev's grandfather has a very good friend with Prabhupada. This also, for me, this is very much surprising because uh, in a ISKCON time, we don't know this kind of story because most of Western devotees, they don't know that kind of story. So I was completely shocked and very happy to relate with Prabhupada and your grandfather and with you. I'm very much, per se, be... So imagine this temple was done in huh? 1932. Mm. This temple was ready in 1932. Yes. And then there are few temples was there. Mm. Now you see the Bihari temple is a, everybody wants to go. Before was Radha Govinda temple near in the front of Ranji. Mm. That was the first rush people going. 
slowly slowly now the bihari ji is the first biggest one mm. the six go swami temple they come to see and my grandfather was also that time in the king he was the only person gaudiya vaishnav because lala bau left that time aha uh -huh. so in 50s 40s he, he this temple was a very important temple so prabhupad come in the 45 or something right 40s so and very very uh, he is the close with all vaishnava they are very good gaudiya vaishnava was living there mm -hmm. and very baba ji is also very siddh baba ji uh, was living in the Ravan Rethi area where the now Scon roads are there. Mm -hmm. This was very very VIP. This was forest like up to fifties, big heavy forest. Nobody goes in this area because too heavy to go to Chhatikara with that. Wow. So, uh, yeah, that time one Gauriyamat was there. Is a Gauravan Gauriyamat. This was uh, one university make one Maharaj. Ah, uh, this is Bom Maharaj. Mar Bom Maharaj. Bom Maharaj was only one person, and one Gaudiya Mat existed that time. And right. Kesam Maharaj Gaudiya Mat in Matra. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You also met the Kesam Maharaj, na? Right? Yeah, I went to Kesam Maharaj. Wow. With my grandmother. Wow. Grandmother is going to see. She was very elevated soul. Your 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 grandmother knows all Siddha Siddha Mahatma or great soul in Brajana. Yeah, Brajvasis. They come and they tell to grandmother, grandfather, and they bring to. Them there. No. Wow. All local people. There was no one much. If you want to go, there is no other source than Tanga. 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 Our was was car was the only transport. Vehicle. Only the grandfather has a car. He used that. <laughs> wow. In Brindavan, maybe one car or two cars. Road. road was the switch road. Uh, it's only sand sand part. Yeah. Interesting. Ninety, forty, fifty, maybe only one or two car in Buraja. <laughs> wow. Maybe grandfather and one Saji temple. Car. 
。ああ、サハジー店舗。ゼアベリリッチオルソは。ゼアベリッチオルソは。ああ、ゼアベリッチオルソは。ゴリアウェイスだ。んうん。Thank you very much. <laughs> Or if somebody wants to share something, welcome. Okay, Andakaji, maybe we can go ahead. Okay, so we continue. Next to the next chapter, chapter four, the title The Kingdom of Love. And we are reading Gurudev's sharing from morning lecture on 3rd March 2014. So Gurudev is sharing. There are two kingdoms. The kingdom of Nanda Maharaja's son Krishna and the kingdom of Vrishabhanu's daughter Radhika. The first one is the kingdom of God. The second one is the kingdom of love. The kingdom of love, Radhika's kingdom, is bigger than the kingdom of Krishna, the kingdom of God. In God's kingdom, In all the universes, there are many disbelievers. 50% are atheists. They don't believe in God. So, half of the kingdom is full of non believers. And all the animals. The plants, all of them cannot think of God. Their consciousness will not allow it. So, even more in the kingdom of God cannot believe in God. But. <laughs> <laughs> in Radhika's kingdom, the kingdom of love, everyone can feel love. All are full of love. Every living entity has the capacity to love and to experience love. Every human being has love in the heart. Every animal can love. Birds can feel love. Trees can feel love. All plants can experience love when we give love to them. So, all inhabitants. In Radhika's kingdom 
are full of love. Love is the only way. Love is the answer. So, we should take shelter in the kingdom of Radhika, the kingdom of love. Without love, nothing is possible. And this love does not mean material love. It means love from your spiritual identity, from your spiritual senses. We are all trying to love through our material senses. Therefore, we become frustrated and we suffer. When we are fixed in our spiritual identity, we can experience a real love. By taking shelter of the Queen of Love, Radhika, we will be in her kingdom of love. Therefore, Radhika's kingdom is much bigger than Krishna's kingdom. Madhurya Rasa. You see how Krishna is coming and how he is looking at Radhika from his eyes and with her eyes Radhika is talking to Krishna. Feelings exchange this is Madhurya Rasa wow. mm -hmm. so <laughs> this Guru Dev is talking I'm feeling why we are visiting Brindaban why we live in Brindaban because Brindaban the queen is Radhika so Brindaban is Radhika's land so if we want to feel love or experience love if we want to get mercy from Radhika then we can stay and we can live in Braja. And uh, Rupa Goswami also suggesting if we could uh, to stay Brinda, to live Brindaban is best. But if we cannot Physically, we cannot live in Brindaban. Then, at least mentally, we should live in Brindaban. So far is mentally. Guru Dev is saying, in a spiritual, eh, spiritual identity, our with spiritual identity we try to live in Braja. Chananda Prabhu? Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Oh, sorry. We, we cannot hear you very nicely, but maybe it's our. our sorry. We, we maybe, maybe I'm maybe. Oh, sorry. So, oh, Chabana. Can you hear? Now it's better. Thank you. So, oh. Sorry for the interruption. No, no. So, Rupa Gosam is saying we should stay, we should live in Brindavan. If we can't, we stay in mentally, we stay in Braja. Means always meditate in Braja. That means I feel, Gurudev say, in fix our spiritual identity, we should meditate. Gurudev saying in spiritual body, Swarupa, we should meditate it. And I heard from disciple of Anandas Vaj Maharaj, Anandas Vaj Maharaj also, also stress. Uh, Anandas Maharaj want his disciple to, to stay Braja uh, for a long time. If it is possible to stay, Braja. So this is, I feel, this is because of Radhika's land, and uh, we could feel, and uh, we could exchange uh, Radhika's uh, feeling, Radhika's muscle. So, and uh, a few days ago, Gora Chandra explained very nicely Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is actually this mantra meant for Radhika. Why is that? <laughs> because maybe, maybe Gora Chandra, could you share you, your explanation of Maha Mantra? This is very beautiful. I was completely, you know, completely appreciated Gora Chandra. If you could. Maybe you explain, Jayananda Maharaj. <laughs> Listen to that also, please, you explain. So, actually, Gora Chandra is much better than I. So, Gora Chandra is saying, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, is composed Hare Krishna Lama. So how much Hare is including? <laughs> how, how much, how much Krishna including? How much Lama is including? <laughs> Gora Chandra said, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare This uh, 16 among the 16 half is Hare it, it, I'm saying right I'm I'm also I I cannot calculate and uh, Lama also, Lama means, Lama means Lada and Moham. Some people say Madhava, but I say Moham. Lama means also Lada is included. In. And first is Hare. Last one also, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Lama, Lama, Hare Hare. Last one is Hare. So, like a sandwich. <laughs> Guru Dev is saying, like sandwich. Radhika. First and last Radhika. Krishna is like sandwich. So, actually, even Maha Mantra. This Hare or Lada is 
prominent. So therefore, actually, all mantra, especially Hare Krishna Maha mantra, or even, even, <laughs> even we say Gopal mantra, even Kama Gayatri, Radhika is there. So even Maha mantra, Radhika is actually, Radhika is prominent. Even, <laughs> even, Gopara mantra is actually meant for Krishna. But the Gopi Jana, <laughs> Gopi Jana Barabaya, Swaha. So this Gopi Jana also Radhika is there. Karma Gayatri also Radhika is there. So, Gora Chandra explained very nicely, even Maha Mantra, Radhika is prominent. Even Buraja is, see, some people say, actually Krishna is, Buraja is king, actually no. Radhika is queen. Because one story there, uh, Nanda Maharaj and Yashoda Maya was thinking, so who is best to next generation, who is who is the best king or who is the best queen? And they're discussing, oh, actually, my Gopal is, is good, but he's very naughty. He's not one-pointed. But Radhika, Radhika is completely fixed one-pointed. So, Yashoda Maya was suggesting Radhika should be queen. And actually, Krishna want Radhika to be queen. So, therefore, this is Gurudeva saying, this Brindavan is Radhika's kingdom. Well, actually, Gurudeva may, may not say, but uh, I say, la, uh, this Brindavan is king of Radhika. Even Mahamantra also meant for Radhika. Our Gaudiya Vaishnava is Ishta Devi. Most of Gaudiya Vaishnava, Ishta Devi is Radhika. And most of Gaudiya Vaishnava is desire to be Radha Dasi. <laughs> so therefore, in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastime, after Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Radhika's glory is, is predominant. Especially our Gaudiya Vajnava. So this is a love of, a king of love is very interesting. So Gora Chandra explain, so I could not explain like Gora Chandra, but Gora Chandra explain very nicely Mahamantra. So just I want to share this little bit. So if Gora Chandra, if you could add, please add. Oh, you explain very nice. <laughs> Maybe I can add one thing. Why Mahamantra especially for Manjari Bhav? Because Rama, Radha, Madhava, Radha Mohan together. And Gurudev, they say they are always in Raman. They are always in embrace. They are always in intimate, romantic pastime. Dancing speaking romantic words, hug each other, kiss each other. 
and more confidential, more confidential. That is meaning of Raman. So gopis cannot see that. <laughs> gopis, they cannot go in Nikunji. So Rama, Manjari Bhav is there. So I remember Gurudev was saying two kinds of chanting. One chanting with attachment, another chanting without attachment. This attachment is like a, say, like a feeling or without fixing rasa. So at first, our chanting is not so much attached in this chanting. What we don't know spiritual identity. We don't know, we, we are not fixing rasa. So therefore, this chanting is good, but not so much. We don't have relationship, not taste. But Gurudev is showing us, teaching us to, to chanting with attachment, to chanting with fix one Baba for us, especially Manjari Baba. So even this Lama, so we are in, in Isko at that time. <laughs> Prabhupada said, oh, Rama meant to, Rama Chandra, Rama meant to Balaram, Rama meant to Parashurama. Because we are so much, eh, by the, so much open reverence, we are thinking always Krishna is supreme personality of Godhead. But uh, Gora Chandra explained, so if we fix our mind one Baba, especially one Manjari Baba, this Lama means also different. This actually Gurudev taught us. Lama is Lama Nitil Lama. So Lama is Lada Mohan is together. Embracing. And this attachment of chanting, Gurudev was showing us and teaching us how to fix ourselves <laughs> and one Baba. And Gorachandar also kindly explained the real meaning of Maha Mantra with Manjari Baba. Because according to our rasa, according to feeling, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra means many meaning. Even, even among the Acharya, <laughs> different explanation. This is very interesting. So, Gora Chandra explained very nicely. Thank you very much. So, Gurudev, if you could add, please enlighten us. Please show us. Uh, Rama, Rama, last is Hare Hare. This Hare Hare is uh, Radha Mohan is calling this Hare Hare to Manjiris. Mm. You also come and not stay far from me. <laughs> they also eat to the man. This is Rama Rama Hare last one. So we are Manjari. They need to to close to Manjari. Because Radhika, most dear servant, is Manjari. 
she can only share with Manjari. And Krishna also like Manjari because they are very sincere to Radhika and very sincere to serving. And when Radhika is searching to Krishna, that time Manjari is telling to Krishna, where is the meeting and how to come search him? She searched Krishna and she said to Krishna, today where is that place to meet? So Manjaris are important for Radhika also and for Krishna also. This is the gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. How much we educate in our Siddha Deha, all realization can come in life. Actually, this is a great hope for, for us because Radha Mohan calling us, I need you. Please arrange something. Please do this. So Radha Mohan need us. So this is our great hope. Okay, Andakaji. If somebody wants to share, please find the list. So we continue reading. Gurudev was sharing from morning lecture, 30th December 2013. Gurudev is saying, Krishna himself is not the king of Vraja. He is just the prince. He doesn't have to worry about maintaining the kingdom. He is carefree, Dhira Lalita hero who is freely enjoying himself in the kunjas of Raj. So, so Radha Charanji, could you explain this uh, Dira Radita, if you could? Maybe not many people know Dira Radita. Dira means he is, how to say, peaceful, sober, and Lalita means playful. That's all what I know. Well, Gora Chandra, could you explain Dira Narita? No, I don't know exactly, but I catch the mood. Dira, I think, means like balanced, relaxed. Uh, he has nothing to do. <laughs> He has no responsibility. <laughs> he has no job. He is a prince. Mm. And do whatever he wants. He is the enjoyer. Lalit. Beautiful, sweet, always searching for enjoyment. <laughs> so he is just... The embodiment of 
enjoyment. He never has to think, I have to do something. No, he is always in the flow of adventure and loving pastimes and overflowing with that. Therefore, the gopis, they have never desired to marry him. <laughs> they don't want to bind him. They don't want to put shackles on him. They don't want to make a limitation to that overflowing mood of amorous <laughs> feelings. <laughs> no. They never think, I want him for myself only, no other should <laughs> be with him. It would limit him so much. He is such a great lover, he can bring happiness to millions of gopis. So, so they don't want to make him smaller. They also want that he is like that all the time, dear Lalita, carefree, enjoying, romantic hero. <laughs> like this. Yeah. Very capable. So I think this is uh, the difference between Krishna and Narayan. <laughs> so Krishna is so Krishna's four thing is different with uh, Narayan. So this is uh, this one. This one is like a carefree, you want to always enjoying, does not care anything, just to thinking about Radhika or another lovers. So, thank you very much. Okay, Andakaji. But Cupid has placed some ropes in the form of Sri Radhika's ears that represent her pure love as a trap to catch this intoxicated mad elephant king. Tulasi Manjari says, Radhika, your ears are naturally enchanting Krishna with their beauty. And now, I have even hung these earrings on them. So now, this mad elephant will always remain under your control and will freely play with you. What a wonderful, passionate love for Krishna, Tulsi insights in Radhika's mind in this way. How wonderfully that shines on the face of Krishna Nuragini Radhika, to see Radha and Krishna, one must understand their deep, passionate love for each other, with the ointment of Anuraga. Shri 
Shyama Sundar is the beloved of Anuragini Swamini. That has to be experienced in their names, mantras, and Gayatri. The sweetness of all this becomes revealed through the Sadaka's Anuraga. <clears throat> so according to <laughs> Sadaka's Anuraga, all the sweetness of Radhika and Radha Moha will be revealed. So Radhika is Mahababa Chintamani. So Radhika has greatest love. And Radhika has so much, what is it, uh, ornament, uh, Radhika's body. One or my ornament is like earring. Different kind of earring of Radhika. <clears throat> but this earring is not ordinary earring. So earring put on Radhika, that earring become like Mahababa. Means could control Mohan, Krishna. Because <laughs> Radhika has very strong feeling. You are mine. Radhika was thinking, Krishna, you are mine. I can, I can, I can control you. I can take care of you. I can serve you, whatever you like. This mentality of Radhika, this feeling. Of course, Radhika is beloved of Krishna, but Radhika has Every quality, she has 60 arts and she has all good quality, which any ladies want to have. Even any lady, not only Gopi, Durga, uh, or Sachi, or many demigods also want to follow. So this radicals, even radicals yelling could control. And radical could control mad elephant. So Krishna become a student of Radhika. Radhikara Premaguru Amishishana. <laughs> Krishna become student of Radhika. So Radhika's kingdom is more bigger than Krishna because Radhika, Krishna's Radhika's Shisha, Radhika's subordinate, Radhika is thinking, you are mine, this Madhyata. <laughs> One guru them saying, this Madhyata is symptom of Madhanakya Mahababa. Yeah, if we think about Om, Om, true, because this, this Madhyata, Radhika serve Krishna and most. Wonderfully. So this is uh, very interesting. So somebody want 
Oh, our daya needy Baba also. There. Jade Jade Janandaji. Maybe um, I have one question for Gurudev. <coughs> Before we said that uh, Manjari are also inside of Maha Mantra. Rama Rama Hare Hare. So uh, to to see each uh, um, to see uh, how I can see my should I see myself also I must to see myself in the Leela should I always meditate also in Maha Mantra that I'm include, included in this Leela and another question is also when we are see the altar of uh, Radha Mohan should, should we see also in altar the Guru Manjari and should we can we see also us inside of this Leela? Is it correct this kind of meditation? So this is my question. Correct, uh, this is correct that we are your Dasi and we want to serve you. If I am not practicing, how I will become Dasi? I will see only Gurudev is serving and I am looking that. I want to be Manjari and I am looking and I am seeing. I, will, I don't want to be a Manjari. I don't want to be a Dasi of Dadija. But it is my desire. If it is my desire, is it correct? If not desired, then it's not correct. Depend upon the sadhaka, how he see that. I think this mantra is Hare Hare, last Hare Hare, means by calling that Manjari who is chanting. Somebody is chanting, why is chanting? To develop his siddha there. Only the person who has desire for spiritual identity, they will chant it. Others will never chant. They have no interest for chanting. They can show, but they cannot chant. And if I not chant, my manjari will never develop. This, my blockage will never go out from me because this is the chanting, is the removing my blockage. What this whole life in material life also. This is my blockage. When I am blocked in material circumstances, how I can grow in a spiritual circumstances? Any blockage in material life not growing, and any blockage in his spiritual life, we are not doing. And that mantra can remove the blockage. My blockage that my flow is not right. This positive vibration will throw out all my negative vibes. And when we feel connected with my Swami, nothing is blocked. Yeah. There is no grief and not desire to be Dasi, so blockage is covering me. No goal of life, no meaning of life. Why not life will change? And it thing is changing. I was a small child, I grown up, I become old. When this can change, 
my nature cannot change. What type of this nonsense nature is there that I cannot change with my grief? My previous sanskara is so bad that I cannot change it. This is our previous sanskara, my blockage. And I cannot win my previous habits. And we want to stay in our previous habits. This is the most, most, most craziest thing in life. Outside I change, I cannot change my inside. What is sadhan bhakti? Sadhan bhakti first start by the sadhana. And raga sadhana bhakti. What is raga sadhana? Inside to change, to flow nice. Sadhana, we cannot leave the sadhana. That we become raga bhakta and I have nothing to do. Every moment we have to watchful, Chaitanya, watchful means Chaitanya, watchful means consciousness. Then Krishna is there. If we are unconscious, Krishna will run away. He is Chanchala. So this is the chanting with attachment when we are included inside. With one this bow. Means, this means attachment. And, and one is without attachment. But I will get without attachment what I will receive in attachment that we have to accept. If we are attached with material things, I will get that. If I attach with my Swami, I will get it that. If I attach with the suffering, I will get that. Where you attach, you have to receive the pain of that. So what you decide to take, I decide that to attach with this Ram, Radha Mohan, you have to decide your attachment, how you want to see it. Thank you, Gurdiv. Thank you, Jananda. Thank you, Gurdiv. <clears throat> Okay, so we have few sentences more from this Gurudev sharing. Gurudev continues. It is important in which mood we do bhajan and Gayatri so that we can improve our mood and to understand 
the deep meaning of the mantra. Then taste will come in chanting. When love is there, God automatically will come. This is our philosophy. Radha is the goddess of love. Uh, Jananda Ji, should we continue? It's uh, 35, 9.35, or... So, so this is Guru David very nicely explained. When love is there, God automatically will come. And <clears throat> so Radhika is there, automatically Mohan is coming. And if we chant Radha's name, and Mohan is, if someone who chant La, then Mohan is thinking who is chanting, and then chanting Da, and then Krishna is like looking after that who is chanting the Radha's name. Anandas Baba mentioned and many times in this. So this is our Gaudiya philosophy. So if we are Radha Dasi, then we don't need to look for Krishna. Krishna is coming to Radha Dasi. Radha is made servant because Krishna won't have Radhika's association. So Krishna need this manjari. Without manjari, Krishna is no way to meet Radhika. So this is very nicely Gurudev explained. Love is a way. Love is a God. <laughs> so this is very nicely explain this 10 years God's lecture. So, is there some other comment? Gurudev disappear? Maybe disappear. If, oh, maybe uh, Chabana, I, oh, good name. <clears throat> maybe I can share something. Okay. Please. To Dayanidi, I want to ask, uh, say something. Mm -hmm. Yes. When we chant Japa, we, we are calling Radharan. Hare, it's like the, the calling, no? Like Radha is her name. But if we call her, we say Radhe, we, we are calling. So Hare is also calling. So Radharani, I call you, I want to be with you. So, but how I can be with you? In my male sadhakariha? <laughs> of course not. I need my spiritual body, but that is what we want. So, of course, we include myself always there. And if they call me, Rama, Rama, Hare, Hare. 
they also call me in my manjari swaru so i have to be in this meditation and gurudev so beautiful he say that to see radha and mohan and to feel their passionate love that has to be he writing he saying that has to be experienced in their names mantras and gayatri in this gopal mantra and we have to understand the deep meaning of the mantra so there are different levels of understanding the mantra but if we fix our mood manjari bhav and meditating about my spiritual body and try to be with radha mohan i call them hare krishna then the mantra has a specific meaning like in this gopal mantra govindaya has three meanings first we have krishna ya govindaya gopi jana wala so there are th- foundation is there are three moods vatsalya sakka madhurya krishna is for vatsalya govindaya for sakya and gopi jana wala vaya for madhurya rasa when we now fix our mood in madhurya rasa and the romantic mood in manjari bhav then krishna ya govinda also change the mean krishna is so attractive ah, very attractive romantic <laughs> so beautiful his blue blackish complexion very beautiful and govindaya is explained most of the time with that he giving pleasure to the senses of the gopis and then one time we read from ananta das baba ji he explain and i don't know vilap kushum actually radha rasa sarani that actually govindaya means that krishna's senses <laughs> are always absorbed <laughs> in relishing radha rani's beauty so there are three different levels of understanding govindaya but when our mood is fixed in manjari bhav then <laughs> there's only one meaning and maha mantra and diksha mantras they go parallel so they nourish each other diksha mantras we give more taste to maha mantra and maha mantra we give more taste for diksha mantra they going parallel with each other when gurudev say so nice then if i have the desire to be in my manjari swarup and calling radha rani and want to serve raman i want to serve them then then i have desire for chanting <laughs> 
Otherwise, I have no taste for that. We have to pray that we get some taste, some <laughs> desire, some feelings. Thank you, my dear Gorachandra. Thank you. So every, everywhere we see Radhika, all mantra become Radhika, and also whatever we see, all world become Radhika by this mood. And we are, of course, her servant, otherwise we cannot see her. This is Krishna Sarah. This is meaning of that I understand Krishna. I know him ex outside. He is player of the flute. He stands curved way. He is a cheater. He is a liar. He is a womanizer. And he is all mighty God, Lord. He want to be like this in Praja. And he enjoy with this. When this test want to relish. Why he do this? Then we know because of because the reason of his energy. To make happy to his energy. Prabhupada writing in Bhagavad Gita 10 15, Krishna cannot understand himself. He cannot understand himself without if his energy not explained about him. His energy. Is Radhika. You don't know the energy of Krishna, you don't know Krishna Tattva. So we, we have been knowing, is not knowing Krishna, is philosophical, he is a Vishnu Bhakti. If you have no relation, he is also Vishnu Bhakti. He is Narayan Bhakti, we are doing. The Rajendra Nanda is a greedy, he is a greedy, he is a cheater, he is a liar, he is a begging, he has a desire to shut the breast of the mother, he has a desire to play with the gopis. If you, you want to be a gopi, he has a desire, he come to fulfill. In Vrindavan, in his home. If you have desire to play with him, then you can try to understand. This is Bhajan Dham. This is his home, Nija home. It's only understanding and possible in a Braja Bhumi. Out of Vrindavan, only we talk about this. And we cannot talk outside, inside the subject. Only in the Braja Bhumi we start and we can grow this heart. We want to know opulence. Outside Vrindavan. Here we want to know that where is the real energy hiding of the Krishna. That is Krishna Tattva. The Krishna Tattva is the Sai Guru Hoy. Only who knows the external Krishna, Narayan Krishna, he is not Guru. That is meaning of bona fide, Prabhupada's thing. Guru is a navigator. He can rightly navigate you. 
He is nothing more than that. His job is only to navigate us. He will not work for me. He will not work for me. He will not do for anything for me. He will advise us. If I follow his advice, I will reach the goal. If you not follow his advice, I will become kaput. Then we have a different parampara. We create a different parampara. Out of Prabhupada, out of Mahajan, out of Narayan Maharaj, out of this. And then we have to develop as I have fixed nature in this nature, to develop fixed nature. That is upper sadhana. We are want to move in or we want to fix it. That is your decision. This is the final stage of sadhana. Normally, out of Vrindavan, we want to move. But in Vrindavan, we want to fix this nature. That is the final sadhana. We don't want to move from this point. That says I come. Very nice good day. I want to say about Prabhupada. One day I'm thinking, he's so genius. He, how Prabhupada, he explained man, uh, <laughs> Maha Mantra. Basic understanding, every Iskhan devotee learning that. <laughs> oh, Radha, Krishna, please engage me in your devotional service. <laughs> like that. Basic <laughs> understanding. Eh? Everyone doing. Ah, okay, Sadaka Deha. <laughs> I'm <laughs> serving you. But same time, Prabhupada speaking <laughs> totally Manjari Pa. Radha, Krishna, <laughs> please, I want to serve you. <laughs> In the Nikonja, engage me in your devotion, your service. I'm Manjari. I want to serve you in the Nikonja. This is my prayer. So Prabhupada, he giving basic understanding for everyone, but same time, deepest, deepest understanding. Deepest meaning. If you think about that, Prabhupada, Jai Prabhupada, genius. <laughs> you know, because because every every Bhagatam Kuran is chanting Jai Radha Madhava. You know, this is this is chanting. Sometimes he was he was you know after chanting Jai Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hari. You know, Gopijana Baraba. And then he was, he was uh, stop chanting and <laughs> meditating a few minutes, you know. <laughs> so, and the devotee was uh, shocked. What's happening? Mm -hmm. Prabhupada showing us deep meditation in this, you know, in this Nikunja mm -hmm. and uh, this kind of stai baba, but uh, unfortunately, we don't understand. But now we understand. Yeah, now by the massive of Gurudev, yeah. massive of Rashka Vaishnava, we may have, you know, we have uh, some understanding and uh, we have a desire to more go deep into. I said about Krishnaya, I say about Govindaya, Gopi Janavalabhaya. Uh, he is <laughs> he is darling of all the gopis. 
ゴピジャナバラバイスペシャリーのえ、クンジャー、ビハン。ああ。<笑> He only loves my swami. <笑> He leaving all the gopis for my swami. That is Gopi Jana Valavai. Every Gopi loves him. Every Gopi wants him. But he only wants my Swami. <laughs> Leaving everyone for my Radhika.、Mm. <laughs> That is Gopi Jana. <laughs> It was made to remember these lines. One day will come that you will understand. Why we read in Bangla songs and We read and read and sing and sing, but one day we realize, understand, we know the word. So, we, this is the only to memorize his singing. One day will come when you will go to Vrindavan, you will meet with someone who can explain, who will realize about this. This is the Gopal mantra of what is. Then you will realize what is the goal of Gopal mantra to do. Which, how to do. Then you will understand. It says, Parthiya Bhav, Acharya's teachers, evidently, that is the meaning. Sakya means openly, it was talking. Parkia means only you understand, others not understand. That is Parkia. Oh, not for public, only for individual is Parkia. As Sakya means Parkia, individual knows they are married couple. So there is nothing confidence for them. Something made public is not just for. Something is hiding in me, this is more terrible. That highest sasa in conjugal love, we want to open in between divine. Many Rashka Bhashtam is hiding. <laughs> That is the meaning of Rashka. Only they share with their as. Sajatiya. They will, they will never share to go in country and then they will say, no, no, I don't know anything. I come to the same <laughs> place. Thank you very much, Gurudev. So thank you very、yeah. much, Ole Chandra and Dada.、Um, Dainidi, every devotee. Yeah, Rade, thank you also very much. Very beautiful.